let's talk today about Evelyn, which is one of the short stories belonging to the collection Dubliners and to the second stage dedicated to adolescents. The plot is quite simple. It talks about Evelyn, who is a 19 year old, the eldest child of a large Irish family who works as a shop assistant at the stores. After her mother's death, she has been left in charge of her brothers and her father, who appears to be quite violent and usually drunken. Evelyn is attracted by a man whose name is Frank. He is a sailor, is fond of music and storytelling. Evelyn's life at home is dull, gloomy, oppressive and extremely boring. Her job in the stores is also frustrating and depressing and she feels caught like in a nest, like in a, in a trap from which she dreams of escaping because her life is just spent in dusting, cleaning the house, working and standing her father's brutality. So she wants to escape from this sordid routine. Okay, so from the beginning uh, of the story, we see that Evelyn is depicted as sitting by the window in her own house and leaning against the window curtains with her head, while in her nose she can smell the odor of dusty, cr dusty cretin. Cretin is the fabrics of which the, the, the curtains are made. And this adjective, dusty, appears many times in the story. So she can smell the dust in the room and she was extremely tired because she had been working probably all day long in the story in the stores. So the, for, the story opens with the image of Evelyn while uh, sitting by the window, watching outside the window, the people passing by on the street. And it's, this is the present situation where Evelyn finds herself and she is in her house. She's not acting. She's just sitting and watching. Few people passed, the man out of the last house passed on his way and she heard his footsteps. One time there used to be a field there. So while she's watching outside the window and she sees some of the houses that um, were built in the fields, her mind starts to wander and to move towards the past. Therefore we've got here the beginning of a flashback. And this flashback is marked by the use of used to. We know, in fact, that used to means something that used to be, that was in the past, but that is no more present in, uh, in no more valid in the present. So we are moving towards her past memories. She starts remembering when in the field, so there used to be children who used to play and who used to enjoy themselves where now there, there are only there are only houses and she remembers also that at that time her father used to be also more joyful more playful he used to play with the family with the girl and with her brothers and that that happened a long time ago when also her mother was still alive but now everything has changed so again with this this now makes us understand that we are moving back to her present condition. So the story opens with this fluctuation in Evelyn's mind between the present thoughts and her memories of the past. Therefore, the reader is entering, is going inside Evelyn's mind, Evelyn's conscience, Evelyn's thoughts which are made up of this magma of present thoughts and past memories, sensations and feelings. So this now marks again the coming back to the present. Now she is still at home, she is at home and she has decided to change everything. And the change is represented by the possibility of Evelyn to leave her home. In fact, she has accepted Frank's proposal to leave Dublin and to go on a voyage to Argentina. So um, here we've got the beginning of the description of her home. Home is repeated uh, in these uh, few lines. We've got the description of the home, which is characterized by the presence of some very familiar and ordinary objects. 
for example, we've got uh, the yellowing photograph, which is yellow, so the color becomes symbolical. Yellow because the photograph is very old, therefore this is uh, an image that emphasizes the passing of time. The fact that things in this house are old things and that have been there for a long time. And then we've got the broken harmonium. The harmonium is a kind of piano. So usually the piano is associated with positive sensations because it brings music, it produces music, which is a, a source of joy and pleasure. But in this house, music can't enter anymore because the harmonium is broken. Therefore, the broken harmonium becomes a symbol of a kind of spiritual decay, a kind of spiritual decline, a frustrated desire for joy and pleasure and happiness. So Evelyn is looking around herself. She sees these objects which make up her routine and everyday life. And she starts having dilemmas and doubts. She is caught in between these uncertainties. In fact, we understand that she has consented to go away. She has accepted Frank's proposal to leave Dublin, to leave Ireland, to leave her home, her job, so to make a change of her life. Wife, but now she's wondering if that acceptance, if, if that decision was wise. Because as she's saying, she's thinking now, her home anyway represents a shelter, un riparo, and food. So her home anyway represents certainty and a kind of security. Therefore, uh, um, Evelyn is caught in this moment of uh, contradictions. And beginning a new life could be a positive change, but at the same time, it can bring some uncertainties and insecurities. And then she starts thinking about the possibilities of what might happen in the future. And we understand this movement towards the future because the narrator now starts using the conditional would as a kind of future in the past, as a reported speech. So he's talking about what will people say at the stores if I uh, run away with a young man? What would the clients think about me? So she projects herself in the future when she has already left Ireland and she imagines what people may say. So this is the possible future. And in this short um, passage of the story, we have got the, an example of this uh, continuous flowing and fluctuation, fluctuation of memories uh, from the past, thoughts about the present condition and projections into the future in Evelyn's mind. So we've got the overlapping and the mixing up of three different levels of time the past, the present, and the future. So we are right in the middle of the inner time of Evelyn. This is not the clock time. This is not the um, chronological scientific external time. This is Evelyn's time, her, the time of her mind, the time of her psyche, of her conscience, in which uh, different time dimension overlap, mix, up and flow continuously without being separated. The story now goes on with a but, but which is a word which marks a contradiction with respect to what has just been said. Because she thinks that anyway, her new home, a home which will be distant in a distant country, in a faraway country from Ireland, probably her life will be different. Probably she will be married and probably people will treat her in a different way. They won't treat her as her mother had been treated before her or as her she is treated now. And again, we've got after this uh, desire of a new life projected in the future, again we've got a uh, remembrance from the past. In fact, she starts thinking about her father. Her father who is a, a typical image of 
the typical Irish old man who is frequently violent and gets, especially at the weekend, as she said, fairly bad. He gets fairly bad on Saturday night when he has probably drunken too much. So he is uh, usually drunken. Uh, a man who usually exploits uh, the woman, in this case, uh, his daughter, because he wants Evelyn to give him all her money, all the money she has earned at the stores. So a man who um, expresses violence and who is uh, who shows himself rude and unkind towards uh, women. Uh, therefore, this um, image of the past and these memories of her frequent quarrels and arguments with her father convince her that this is a hard life, a hard life based on hard work, on sadness, on the difficulties of standing her father. So she has to put an end to all of this and she wants to start something new. Therefore, Frank represents the possibility of a change and she wants to explore a new life with Frank. So the use of the verb explore is something, again, symbolical because the exploration is usually associated with something positive because you can find new things. But exploration or explore means also sometimes something dangerous, dreadful, like exploring in a jungle. So it is sometimes connected with risks because the feelings connected with this possibility of a change of a voyage make her um, think about um, her affection that she's going to leave but also she starts to be a little afraid of the future, of what is unknown, of what is waiting for her in a new life. So again, her feelings seems to be contradictory. And Frank represents the possibility of, of change. As the name, again a symbolical name, says he is a young man, sincere, who appears to be sincere and honest.